friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. Happy Monday, happy Halloween. It is Halloween and it is meal prep day. I have three amazing recipes for you. I can't wait to share them. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on so you never miss a meal prep or any other video because I do upload five videos per week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Cannot recommend this enough. This is how I have lost the majority of my 130 pounds and I have one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let's jump in to meal prep. week I'm making protein packed apple muffins. I'm so excited about this new flour that I found. I shared it in my grocery haul on Saturday so if you haven't seen it I'll link it down below for you but this is going to be quite the game changer. So let me show you what's in our apple muffins. You're going to need salt, vanilla extract, cinnamon, and allspice. I will link my gravity fed salt and pepper grinders down below get these. If you don't have them, you will love them. They're so fun and easy to use. And here is the game changer. I found this Kodiak Power Flour. Same nutritional information as far as calories go of traditional flour, but this has 10 grams of protein and it's whole grains. So it is quite the game changer when it comes to baked goods and being able to add a good amount of protein and just a healthier flour. So I'm really excited to see how this works with these muffins. I will definitely let you guys know if the muffins taste the same as if I would have used regular flour, but I was on the hunt for wheat flour and saw this and add to cart immediately. Cannot wait to try this out. I did find it at Walmart with all of the other flours. You're going to need some sugar-free maple syrup as always. I'm using Lakanto, my all-time favorite. I will link Lakanto down below with 15% off site-wide. You'll need some light butter, unsweetened applesauce, eggs, baking powder and baking soda, and a couple of apples. So the first thing I'm going to do is peel both apples and then I'm going to use my grater, the larger side. So there's different great options. I'm going to use the largest, the same one I use to grate zucchini and grate both of my apples. we're going to add two cups of our Kodiak flour. I'm seriously so excited about this food find. We're going to add salt, cinnamon, and allspice. A teaspoon each of baking soda and baking powder. Stir that together really well until fully combined. We're going to add in two eggs. Three quarters of a cup of unsweetened applesauce. Two thirds of a cup of sugar-free maple syrup. One third cup of light butter. About one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then we're going to stir this together until fully combined. Preheat your oven to 425, grab out your muffin pan and spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. And then with a scoop, we're going to do 12 muffins. To your muffins, you can add some nuts, you can sprinkle some of that really coarse sugar on top. What I'm going to do, just for a little bit of healthy fat, it's not going to affect the calories or points, is I'm going to just top each muffin with a walnut half. So here's what they look like, and I'm just going to top each muffin. That way it'll add that nice little bit of crunch to the top, and again, that little bit of healthy fat. And our muffins are going into the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes or until they are cooked through. 
I just pulled the muffins out of the oven. These smell so good. They remind me totally of apple pie and I can't wait to test out that Kodiak cake flour. I will go ahead and put here on the screen what my thoughts are on that protein flour because I'm going to have one of these muffins before this video goes up. So I'll let you know if it's a winner or if it's a pass, but here are my healthy protein packed apple muffins. I'll go ahead and put serving sizes, points, macros here on the screen for you. this week I'm making a ground turkey burrito bowl this is the basis these are the ingredients for the base bowl and then I'll show you once we put together the bowls what I'm going to top mine with I'm very excited this is going to give me all the Mexican food vibes this week so let me show you what's in the ground turkey burrito bowl first you're going to need top taco seasoning, minced garlic. The recipe actually calls for rice. I'm subbing rice with beans. It's a better carbohydrate source. You've got some fiber in there, some protein. You can, of course, use rice if you would like. You could even use cauliflower rice, but I'm going to do some black beans. You'll need some salsa, an onion, and some ground turkey. I sprayed my skillet with some nonstick cooking spray, added my pound of ground turkey. We're going to go ahead and brown it completely. Our turkey is cooking, cooking up nicely. I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of minced garlic. And then I diced up half of that large onion. We're going to add that as well. That way they can cook and kind of add flavor to the ground turkey as it continues cooking through. Once your turkey is cooked all the way through, you're going to add about a cup of fresh salsa, taco seasoning. Stir that together and we want to allow this to come to a boil. Allow your taco meat to simmer for about 10 minutes or so until all the liquid is gone. It's reduced down to just a thicker sauce mixed in with the turkey. So let's put together the ground turkey burrito bowl. What I'm going to do is have one of these for lunch today. So I'll be able to show you what the completed bowl looks like, but let's prep what we can prep. And we're going to add our cold toppings on right before serving, say sour cream or avocado. So to my meal prep bowls, I just buy these off of Amazon. I will link them down below for you. I did go ahead and drain and rinse my entire can of black beans. So I'm going to divide that up evenly among the four bowls, adding some black beans directly to the bottom. And then I have my meat mixture here that I'm also going to divide up between the four bowls. So this is going to be a very protein heavy lunch, which is great. Plus we're going to get in some veggies and things as well. I have some frozen corn. You could also use canned corn. Go ahead and add some of that for some sweetness and a little bit of crunch. Green onions also add a lot of flavor to the bowl. I'm going to try a tablespoon of shredded cheese. We might do a couple tablespoons of shredded cheese. Actually, one tablespoon looks pretty good. So here is what the meal prep bowl looks like. This is about as far as you wanna go for prepping. Like I said, you want to be able to warm this up and then add your cold topping. So let me put together the other three burrito bowls. So here are the burrito bowls. These look absolutely incredible. Like I said, prepping these, everything that needs to be warmed. I mean, obviously you could eat these cold if you wanted, but I plan on warming up my bowl and I plan on topping mine with some sour cream. That's going to add that little bit of creaminess and yumminess to the bowl. And then avocado wise, I do have the little avocado mash cups that I can use. And then I have quite a few ripe avocados too. So I'm not sure exactly what I'll do. Maybe I'll alternate sometimes with the mash, sometimes with the avocado avocado always with the sour cream but that is the turkey burrito bowl I'll go ahead and put serving size points macros here on the screen for you for dessert this week I'm making chewy pumpkin oatmeal chocolate chip cookies also super excited about these. I think I'm going to put together a little platter with some of the muffins that I made and the chocolate chip cookies and bring them over to my neighbor for Halloween today. So let me show you what's in the recipe. You're going to need vanilla extract, salt, 
all-purpose flour, brown sugar alternative of your choice. As always, I'm using Lakanto Golden. Don't forget, I'll link Lakanto down below with 15% off site-wide for you. You'll need some oats of your choice, other sweetener. This is just a regular granulated sugar alternative. Again, I'm using Lakanto. Lily's chocolate chips. I have a mix of Lily's and Lakanto. I just kind of threw everything in a jar. You'll need an egg, pumpkin pie spice, cinnamon, pumpkin puree, light butter, syrup. I'm going to use the cinnamon Lakanto. Oh my gosh, this syrup is so good. I think it's going to pair really nicely with these cookies and then some baking soda. So to get started on our cookies, we're going to add our two cups of flour to a large bowl. Now you could try using that protein flour. Like I said, this is my first time using it. So I wanted to just go with regular flour, especially because I'm sharing these with my neighbors. But Definitely try out the protein flour to pump up the protein. And then we're going to add one and a half cups of rolled oats. I have some steel cut that I had left over and then some regular rolled oats. One teaspoon of baking soda, pumpkin pie spice and cinnamon, and a little bit of salt. And then we want to mix our dry ingredients together really well. To the dry ingredients, we're going to add our half of a cup of melted light butter, Lakanto Golden Sweetener, one egg yolk. So go ahead and separate the white. We only want the yolk. Half of a cup of Lakanto granulated, three tablespoons of the sugar-free maple syrup, two teaspoons vanilla extract, and about three quarters of a cup of canned pumpkin puree. And then we're going to mix that together until fully combined. And then we're gently folding in 300 Lily's chocolate chips. I lined a couple of quarter sheet pans with some parchment paper. I'll link these sheet pans down below for you. I bought them on Amazon. I love them. I have my cookie scoop, so I'm going to scoop out cookies. My goal is 20, but let's see what we end up with. We can kind of figure our points based on the number that we end up with. So I was able to get 20 cookies total. I actually have a little bit of mix left over, but I'm not going to bother making any more cookies. So 20 to 24 is probably what you're gonna end up with this recipe. Again, depending on the size of the cookie that you make. But these are going into 350 degree oven for 12 to 13 minutes until they're lightly browned and the centers are cooked through. Our cookies are out of the oven. Don't these look amazing? Uh, pro tip, put them a little further apart. <laughs> it is just fine though. I'll just move them. I'll just cut them apart with my spatula. But these look so good. They are so fluffy. Very, very chewy like consistency. Again, I made 20 of them. I'll go ahead and put point and macros here on the screen for you. But this is going to give me all the fall vibes for dessert this week. joining me for this week's WW meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. As always, they, the, my recipe website will be down in the description box. And if you enjoyed the meal prep, give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on. Check out that description box for my recipe website, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Halloween, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.